Hey everyone, so today the book we are going to be reviewing is The Magic of Thinking Big. One of the most successful books out there by David Schwartz has sold over 6 million copies I think and it's definitely an amazing book, has a lot of key takeaways. So the, some of the key takeaways I'll be discussing are Believe You Can and the How To Will Follow being the product of your own thoughts and how they play a big role in deciding what sort of person you turn out to be. Excusitis, the failure disease. Moving a mountain through willpower. Acquiring confidence, curing fear through action. Dealing with other people and having those interactions and everything. Looking things not as how they are right now, but how they can be in the future. Enthusiasm and how it makes huge differences. Not believing in the word impossible, obviously. This is the magic of thinking big after all. Important things, not where you are right now, but where you want to get. Having the end goal in mind and the big working hours that are required for success which you develop by how by loving what you do anyways let's start with the first one believe you can and the how to will follow grant cardone has a similar saying commit first and figure it out later in life when uh, there is you have a goal for yourself that might be big and you can't possibly imagine yourself getting to it it almost feels like a mountain you know in your case, it could be earning one million dollars a year. There was probably a stage where Ty talks about it, how he couldn't imagine earning more than a million a year until he got that done. In terms of health, in terms of connections, finding the ideal and perfect partner that you have given up on or whatever. But yes, believe in it, believe you can do it. and that will generate the willpower and the solution to get you there human brain is pretty powerful if you're believing it is not possible that is what you will see if you believe you can make it happen you will make it happen and if you won't believe in yourself and in your life then who else will here's the thing whether you die tomorrow or whether you die 60 years later either way you don't have enough time life is too short not to think big not to take big risks to set the highest possible goals so you can leave an impact and live to your full potential especially considering that you can't do it everyone else out there who is super successful is just a human being just like you and me there's nothing special about them but in this book, one thing he does mention that was consistent through them all, they set higher goals, they had bigger dreams compared to the average person, and they went for them with everything they have, because they wanted to do it, which was another takeaway. But anyways, I'll move in order. Next one, a person is the product of his own thoughts. You control whether those thoughts are positive or negative. Think success, don't think failure. Thinking success conditions your mind to create plans that produce success. Failure thinking conditions your mind to come up with ways why you will fail. I already said that, but further elaborating on it. Ever have you ever done public speaking? So when you're walking up to the stage, if you're thinking, oh, there's so many people out there, I didn't have breakfast today, you're just giving yourself all of these negative thoughts which is why you won't feel as good and when you do the public speaking it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy it wouldn't be as good as you could have made it out to be but on the other hand let's say before walking up to the stage you think about how everyone is just a normal person like me i can help them i have trained for this for a long time i'm more qualified than anyone else on this subject, on this topic. I am successful, there are people worse than me out there who did better, so this should be a piece of cake for me. 
and how you have this and you have the confidence and the strength to do what it takes and then when you walk on that stage and you make that presentation it will be the best presentation you've ever done try it out it will work that way thoughts create emotions emotions create actions moving on to the next one excusitis everyone has a disease it's called excusitis the failure disease cure yourself from it you know these big viruses like covid and ebola and sars and all of these things were already super annoying and people think they are very big they kill a lot of people but this one probably kills more people than all of those combined the disease of failure making excuses so everyone has limiting beliefs that are holding themselves back in your case it might be that you think you're too young you don't have the right circumstances the people who are successful just got lucky you don't have the knowledge you don't have the connections you don't have the health whatever it may be that is holding you back even though in reality it is it might be a good thing it is usually a good thing so people used to think ethan talks about it how when he was young he used to think they won't take him seriously when he was trying to sell all of these successful business owners but then he kind of flipped it out isn't that a good thing that i'm young because i have the modern advantage and the experience and the fresh perspective that the senior prospects don't have you use it to your advantage luck you created by hard work connections you go and build it or even if you don't have it you can do whatever you want the fact that you're watching this video right now or you're into self help or you are trying to improve yourself probably means you're different from the majority of the world out there you're already good enough to do hard things you just have to go out there and get it done and it will not be easy you might fail but isn't that part of the process it would be strange if everything went perfectly on your first attempt so go out there and get things done all right all these limiting beliefs that are holding yourself back break them and later you'll be able to break them in other people as well you can make up for everything through effort there is a solution to every problem but you don't even have to what all you need to do is go out there and get it next one this was probably the main idea you can't move a mountain by just saying mountain move people say faith can move mountains but it is not just that simple because there are people who want a lot of things but they don't put in any effort into it what you will have to do after you set these bigger targets is go out there and get them done for yourself put in the effort if you want to be successful at business you invest in yourself you read books you get a mentor enthusiastically with a smile on your face despite how many problems life throws at you you keep on for working your way up and you make the mountain move through sheer effort and you can do it people have done it before mountain can yeah it can be anything in your case you might be poor right now you might be weak your health might be worse and you think you cannot overcome that mountain you certainly can and it will also require effort wanting doesn't matter there's nothing magical about belief this is science i can attitude generates the will and the solutions to get it done the first step is usually deciding that you can do it and you will do it next one about confidence no one is born confident confidence is acquired and confidence is developed action cures fear this one was super important
Continuing about confidence, action curing fear. You do what makes you afraid, and that's how you overcome it. You don't like public speaking? You go to the stage, you do it. Anyways, it won't be perfect, but that's how you will build confidence. To overcome the fear that you have, what you need to do is not to think about it. Don't feed the fear. Go out there and get it done, because the alternative is far more worse. Imagine how your life will be if you were absolutely fearless. If you completely stopped holding yourself back, all the goals, all the things you want. You went out for it with everything you have. Not caring about what anyone thinks, or whatever difficulty it might be. Don't be afraid of the people. Don't be afraid of what they think. Don't be afraid of failure. Just do it. See what happens. Take the action. And that's how you build the confidence. We're all human beings with essentially the same interests, desires and problems. So when you look at other people, keep that in mind. They're not that special, okay? They might not even remember you, man. People make a fool of themselves on a regular basis if that is your afraid. What is your afraid of? And let's say that does happen. What's so bad about that? It just means you're normal. And that is usually required to some extent. When you have bigger targets. Here is another one. This one was super important that I found really interesting. You think there is more competition for higher positions? It's actually not because most people have the low possibility mindset. So, higher job positions or successful mentors or those pretty people you want to go on a date with. When you're applying for a job, you might think uh, there will be a lot of competition for that higher position. It's actually the opposite. They did some research on it and realized like 10% people apply for like the higher positions they are qualified for. Most people would just like you, if you are still like this, settle for the lower entry level jobs. And that's why it's more difficult to get the entry level stuff than it is to get the higher stuff. All right, same with people. Everyone settles down for average person. And you might think this one who is the prettiest has like people flogging over them. By the way, that's an entirely different topic. Let's take character, not appearances. It's actually not always the case because there are a lot of people like you there who are thinking the exact same thing. And they don't take the first step the successful mentors you think oh, everyone must be wanting to get mentored by them or young sir i'm thinking health it's not that difficult go out there work on your health not everyone is doing it let's continue to move further ahead look at things not as they are but as they can be this was an important takeaway don't look out for your, to, uh, at yourself for where you are right now. Judge yourself based on where you will be. And most likely you will be very successful in life. I don't have any doubt about that. Hopefully you don't as well. When you're making friends, when you're applying for positions, investing in something, starting a business, taking an action, health, going to the gym or whatever, don't look out for where things are right now. Look out for where they can be. This even applies to business. There's this term, long-term value of a customer. It doesn't matter if they're paying you less initially, if in the longer run, they're gonna be much more loyal and much better. I think 50 Cent talked about how when he was signing for a record label, he selected the one that had more long-term potential but was paying less upfront as opposed to the other one but just in case you're actually seeing the true value of things because eventually the future value will come to realization and if you were making decisions based on something's short-term benefit you will miss out on a lot of opportunities don't be like that 
let's move on to the next one. Enthusiasm. Other people will believe in you when you believe in yourself. And when you approach things with that level of energy, that positivity, and that possibility mindset that you get things done, you make things happen. Carries other around you. Steve Jobs was like that. Another, a lot of founders are like that. You're trying to pitch investors. It doesn't matter if others believe in what you're saying. If you believe in what you're saying and they believe in you, that should be fine enough. Because that sort of passes through, no matter how difficult your demands is. If you're 100% confident that you can pull it through, then that will work. Next one. Eliminate the word impossible from your thoughts and vocabulary. Nothing is impossible. You live once. Even reality is made of things that are not real. You don't have all the answers. Stop making false limitations on yourself based on your surroundings or upbringing or whatever. If humans can go to the moon, which took so much effort and was cons People have done impossible things throughout history. Alexander conquered the known world to his mind. There were just people just like you and me, same brain, same two hands, legs. And considering the fact that you're watching this from like a stable place and not in some war zone in Syria, where you actually would have a lot harder time, you can do whatever you want. Nothing is impossible in this life for us humans. He gives an example when there was three companies who were applying, oh, sorry, there was a bid for a real estate contract or something, a very big one. And big corporations were bidding for it, but there were these three small companies as well. Two of them didn't even apply, thinking they will not make it. The third one, despite having bigger competitors, applied, and they won the contract. They could have been like everyone else and made excuses how there are bigger competitors out there. It will be difficult, they're not that qualified enough, they might not be the right people for the job, don't have the connections, whatever. But how do you get to those connections and success? By getting there through taking action like this. Make those decisions. There was the example in raising capital. Investors are raising millions of dollars. Don't think you need to only limit yourself to 50,000 or 100,000 when you're launching your business. Same with selling your product. Don't limit it to a small amount. You think you cannot sell it for more. You might be able to. You're not providing maybe that much value or whatever. Sorry. But keep that in mind. It's getting a bit cold right now, but anyways, continuing. When you help others feel important, you help yourself feel important too. Practice appreciation, give positive feedback often. Practice calling people by their names. Don't hold glory and rest in that instead. So there was this example of when there was a presentation and there was this one manager that was like, I did all this work and I, and he tried to take credit for everything. Whereas the other one who went, went on stage to get his award, thanked all his teams and said he couldn't have been here without them. Results, the team was much more productive and people liked and respected him more. You know, you don't need to take all the credit. Give it to other people, appreciate others, bring out the best in them and that will bring out the best in you as well. Nobody is perfect, everyone has flaws, but Having the ability or the greatness to despite other people's shortcomings, you still give them second chances. You still give them credit, you still look out for them, appreciate them. And then you get to a point where they become great at life. Wouldn't that be the sort of reality you'd want to live in? <laughs> Moving on. The important thing is not where you are, but where you want to get. Before you start out, know what you, where you want to go. Does that make sense? I hope it does. 
a lot of people set blind goals and then try to get to them. They're just putting an effort, but they don't know where they're going or what they want to do out of life. That's why you need to set goals, have a purpose in life, have a target so you can desire it and go all it with embarrassingly high amount of effort. Shares it embarrassingly hard to see what happens, you know? Otherwise, you'll be stuck where you are forever. <laughs> you need goals, you need directions. Otherwise, you might keep on walking randomly here and there. And if you don't know where you are, you want to head out. Well, there are other books on it, but not just that. Try out a lot of things to find that answer for yourself. I can't give it to you. There are some things you need to figure out for yourself. And for that, you might have to do things differently. Live a lot. Do big things, risky things. See what makes you click. See what you want to be. Like, figure it out. Meet more people. They might show you the way. Life is surprising. Seriously. The best things are sometimes unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Desire when harnessed is power. Success requires heart and soul effort. And you can only put your heart and soul into something you really desire. Most really successful people work much longer than 40 hours a week. Elon Musk, for example. And to work 40 hours a week, you really need to desire what you're doing. You don't have to be good at everything else. But if you love what you're doing, it, it brings out the passion in you. Then it won't feel like work anymore. You want to do it. That's how you want to live. And that is how you get successful. So it's very important to figure out your goal and purpose and then go at it with everything you have. Because ultimately, intense goals will keep a person alive when nothing else will. Thank you for listening to the Key Takeaways.